I think our success has been really attributable to two factors. It's the right philosophy with the right people. So the firm's philosophy of being a long-term investor, of grounding that investment on fundamental research and not being afraid to be contrarian, uh, has been an approach that has worked well, getting people who have different professional experiences, bringing them together in a very collaborative environment so that we can look at the world through a range of lenses. To us, the investment approach is really one about going where we have the highest conviction. We will only select an investment in a given country if we believe there is really good long-term value. We don't ever look at an index, and that has, has served us well. We want to be guided by where we think there is value, uh, and that unconstrained, high conviction approach, I think, is, is another reason uh, behind our success. One of the factors that we're privileged to have access to here is uh, research platform. In terms of our own team, uh, we tend to uh, bring people on with a very high level of macroeconomic analysis as well as political analysis as our group really focuses on trying to understand the economics of a country, the politics of a country, and then putting that into the context of the markets and really triangulating those three factors to, to identify value. So we're looking for opportunities in one of three or potentially all of three areas, currencies, curve, and credit. Uh, we have the flexibility to isolate any specific one of those and hedge out the risk, or we can actually take exposure to all of those. So, for example, uh, when we go to a country like Korea, after doing a lot of on-the-ground detailed analysis, we will identify, is it an interest rate opportunity, is it a currency opportunity, or is it a credit opportunity? And it may be a currency opportunity, but not an interest rate opportunity. Then we will hedge out that risk and just take the currency. Or it may purely be a credit opportunity, and we will want to hedge out the currency component. To us, risk management is integral in the investment process. It is not a separate uh, activity. It is one that goes part and parcel with any investment decision that we are making. We're fortunate that we can draw upon the very large resources of the risk management team and involve them in, in all of our investment uh, activities. So for us, risk management is first about identifying what risks are there, making sure that we are taking the risks we want and hedging out the risks that we don't want. We uh, do that through a range of, of techniques. Uh, we also use a range of scenario analysis to think about the world um, that may not look in the future the way it is today. So with the flexibility to move into a lot of different countries, with the flexibility to adjust along the yield curve, with the flexibility to use currencies from a long and short perspective, this unconstrained approach, this very active management approach, gives us a great deal of flexibility. The strategy offers a couple things for investors. First, it gives them a chance to get outside of their home market. A global bond fund gives international diversification to the fixed income market in the same way that global equity investing gives diversification on a stock market basis. If you have all your assets in your domestic market, you're exposed to essentially one risk and one opportunity set, and you really want to expand that out. So global investing, I think, is the first uh, and most important component that strategy can provide an investor. Uh, the other is the ability to navigate uh, a rising interest rate environment, the flexibility to adjust to much shorter duration, to use currency markets, to take advantage of certain credit opportunities, we believe will be important tools in managing a bond portfolio in a rising interest rate environment. Uh, many bond strategies that are tied to an index, that are passive, that are very constrained, don't have the flexibility to position when interest rates rise. We believe you really need an active approach, you need a global approach in order to have the tool set that will allow you to navigate that rising interest rate environment.